happen because we do update it pretty regularly. Well, this isn't the eclipse, but this sunrise behind me in Poplar Bluff Ooh. is absolutely beautiful where you can see that pink coming up on the horizon and temperatures out there are largely into the mid to upper 40s across Poplar Bluff and elsewhere across the region. We're seeing those temperatures into the mid to upper 40s and even some lower 50s across portions of western Kentucky around the Paducah area. We're coming in at 49 around Mount Vernon, Carbondale and Harrisburg and we're also seeing a temperature of about 48 degrees around Cape Girardeau. As we go throughout the next couple of hours, our temperatures are going to be warming up quite nicely into the low to mid 60s by the time we make it to the afternoon hours before we see those temperatures return to the upper 50s by 8 o'clock. And overall, we're not really seeing too much right now on the satellite and radar, but notice back towards the west, we are seeing a few of those showers try to knock on our doorstep, but I think we are going to be in the clear for the morning commute. And if we take a more regional view of our satellite and radar, you can see that there are showers down towards Arkansas and Oklahoma, and these are going to eventually track off towards our region, and we really are going to be seeing our rain chances go up. So I do expect a soggier end to the day today and a soggier start to tomorrow, and we'll get a little bit of dry time in the afternoon hours before more showers work their way through the region, and we'll see those last through early Saturday morning. But the good news is, is sunshine is going to be returning for the afternoon hours on Saturday and the early morning hours on Sunday. And if we run that clock forward by a couple of hours, you can see a lot of us are still going to be dry through 9 a.m. And we're going to see those showers try to work their way into our region by 6 o'clock in the afternoon. And we're going to be seeing those widespread showers through the overnight hours and maybe even a few rumbles of thunder in these yellow and orange areas. And then those showers are going to be lasting through early tomorrow morning. But notice we are going to get a little bit of dry time in the afternoon hours on Friday before those showers and thunderstorms re-enter the region for about 6 o'clock tomorrow afternoon and evening. And a few of these could be on the strong to severe side, but I don't expect any widespread severe weather across any of our region. And by the time we make it to about six o'clock on Saturday morning, we still are going to be left with a few isolated showers before cold front rolls through and pushes those showers out. And we're just going to be left with some sunny skies. Now, when all is said and done, I think a lot of us could see maybe up to a half to maybe one inch of rain across much of our region. But further off towards the north and towards the west, where we do see those heavier pockets of rain, we could see up to two inches of rain across parts of our region in the system. It's pretty expansive and you can see that it's going to be bringing quite a bit of rain to the eastern half of the U.S. But you are going to want to keep that Storm Track 3 app handy because we are tracking our next chance of a few strong to severe thunderstorms, especially in the afternoon and evening hours tomorrow. But I only expect maybe one or two of those storms to turn strong to severe because we only have a level one risk around portions of southeastern Missouri, western Kentucky and northwestern Tennessee. And the greatest threats there with any stronger storms are going to be some damaging wind gusts and maybe even some smaller hail. Temperatures tomorrow are low likely going to be warming up into the mid to upper 60s before we drop into the lower 50s by about 12 o'clock overnight Friday night into Saturday and Saturday's highs are likely going to be in the lower 50s behind that cold front and we should see the sun come out for Saturday afternoon and then we are going to see a lot of sunshine for Sunday with a high of 54. So it is going to be a little bit cooler than what we've been experiencing over the last couple of days but it's a little bit more seasonable for this time of year. So again we are tracking scattered to widespread showers and thunderstorms this afternoon and tomorrow for throughout most of the day. I really think Friday is going to be a day where you're going to need to keep those raincoats handy and those umbrellas handy because it's going to likely be a washout. We're talking about temperatures that are going to be at about 52 degrees for Saturday, 54 for Sunday, and then 63 for Monday and Tuesday. And we'll be back in the upper 60s and lower 70s for Wednesday and Thursday. But we just got to get through this little patch here. Yes, absolutely. All right. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> well, we'll